Hey everyone and welcome back. We are going to be talking about interactions. So connections are a big part of the whole process, but you can actually jump into your connection right here. So this is the connection from the circle to the square. And these are your interaction details right up here. So here, interactions are made up of a couple different things. Basically, with an interaction, you can define the type of thing or interaction the user actually has to do. You're able to create multiple interactions from the same layer. So theoretically, I can add a new interaction up here and say on drag or maybe on hover, something else happens and I go to another frame. This is where variants and components can come in really handy. So you can create like custom components that essentially you can make interactive components where you hover over a button and then, you know, you get the hover state or the click state and, and so on. So we'll get into that much later, but you can have a bunch of different interactions here, like mouse enter, mouse leave after delays, after delay is only going to be on the actual outer frame, but you can do a bunch of different things, but the only thing you can't do is replicate the same interaction. So that's the only thing, unfortunately. Now let's talk about these interactions in a little more detail. So let's click that again. So what you're going to do is you have the trigger. The trigger basically defines what type of interaction will cause the prototype to actually move forward. You know, this, like I said, it could be, you know, on tap in this instance, you can have like a hover, etc. And essentially, Figma has all those triggers available to you to use. So all really helpful. You'll probably be only using a handful most of the time. Then you have the action. This is this little area right here. The action basically defines what happens when the user interacts with this area or the hotspot. So this could mean things like in our case, moving to another frame, like navigating to this frame, you can have it open an overlay, which we'll do ourselves. You can swap overlays, close overlays, you can go back automatically, you can scroll to, you can open a link. So there's a lot of different interactions or actions that actually do happen or can happen. And that is that. The destination is the last part. So this is the little drop down for the destination. Basically, this is where you are in your last step of the whole interaction. You define where you're going to. This can be another screen in your prototype. It could be some sort of overlay. It could be anything. But that is essentially the interaction details within Figma.